You know, I feel right at home with the Spirit Daytona team. Uh, it's, it's awesome to jump up to the DP class. Homestead's been a good track to me. You know, we've had, I think, three wins in the last four years here, so it's, it's good to come back to a track that I really know. Um, you know, we're, the whole team's learning the new tire, but I'm having a lot of fun with the car, and we're making good progress. The cars are a lot faster, and I think they're even a lot faster than when I drove them back in 2005. Um, it's quite a transition. I mean, we're doing, I think, 20 more miles an hour faster through the banking, and uh, everything seems a lot quicker. Uh, luckily, the car is working pretty well, and um, you know, if we need a little change, uh, the engineer, my engineer, Jim Ott, knows how to, to make the change, and and, uh, and we get there. So. Just the overall package is, is what we need, and I'm having a ton of fun with it. And the transition is tough. I mean, the competition is, is really hard, so you can't, there's no slack. And I mean, I got to get right to it and uh, work with Antonio and, and, uh, and try to get there. The team's had a big transition, uh, both in drivers and uh, with the engine package. The engine's running beautifully. Uh, I know that there's been a lot of little uh, uh, differences that they have made in the car. The biggest one, of course, is the engine. Uh, the placement of the engine, the power output of the engine. Um, so it's, it's been a big learning curve, not only for me, but for the team. And I think, uh, I think it's all going in the right direction. In the first test that I drove, I kept hitting all the curbs on the left-hand side. Um, even actually the first braking zone I went into, I uh, hung my two left uh, wheels in the grass in turn one at VAR and, and almost went off my very first lap. So. Um, but that pretty much set it in stone in my head that, hey, I'm on the wrong side of the car. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's, it's, it's got, I'm, I'm used to it now. I can't use that for an excuse anymore. Um, these guys are 100% committed to getting this car to the front of the grid. So, um, you know, I, I'm kind of on standby every day to see if, um, if we're going to do a test or, or, or do something um, to help develop the car. And I'm just so impressed with the team, with, with all they've got planned out, and I feel lucky to be in the position at the moment with this team, with the new engine, with all they've got planned for the Coyote. And uh, I think we can win races here real soon.